assalamu alaikum welcome to ecl today we will talk about one of the topic from system analysis and design that is analysis phase in stlc and introduction in previous lectures we have talked about the other phases and we have detailed discussed and we have also seen that which methodologies we can use for stlc so in this chapter that is chapter 3 we will talk about the analysis phase in stlc and in today's lecture we will provide you a introduction about the analysis phase so before going to start this video please like share and subscribe this channel for more videos thank you the term analysis means to breaking a whole into its parts with the intent of understanding the parts nature function and interrelationship when we talk about the stlc the output of the planning phase means that the previous phase which we have discussed planning phase the system requests feasibility study and project plan outline the business goal for the new system define the project scope assets project feasibility and provide the initial work plan the output of the planning phase is actual the input of the analysis phase in the previous lectures we have talked about that every phase have deliverables the deliverables of planning phase are the key inputs in the analysis phase and in the analysis phase a system analyst work extensively with the business users of the new system to understand their need for the new system it means that a system analyst will work and collaborate with the customer to understand their needs for a new system and there are three basic steps which are in all involved in the analysis first one is to understanding the existing situation that is known as as is system second one is to identify the improvements in the existing system and third one is the define requirements for the new system that is also known as to be system sometimes it happens that the first step that is the understanding of the as is system is skipped or done in a limited manner the reason behind this is that because sometime there is no current system exist or sometime if the existing system and the processes are irrelevant to the future system or might be possible that the project team is using rad or agile development methodologies which is not emphasized with the as is system so in this situation the analyst will skip the first step that is the understanding of the as is system if we talk about the traditional methods such as waterfall development method or parallel development method because in the previous lecture we have discussed about the two different variants of waterfall development methodology one is the parallel development methodology and other is the v model so if we use these methodology to understand the as is system then these types of methodology took too much time to understand and identify the improvements in the existing system that is as is system so when it will take too much time so it is very difficult to collect the to capture the requirements for the to be system but if we talk about the rad or agile methodologies so these methodologies took less time as compared to waterfall development methodologies and it help us to investigate the current as a system more efficiently as compared to traditional methods the previous studies or the based of the experience it is useful to study the current situation whenever possible because for analysts 
to move from ARP system to 2B system it is very difficult and analyst needs strong critical thinking skills the critical thinking is the ability to recognize strengths and weakness and recast an idea in an improved form and these skills are needed for the analyst to understand issues and develop new and improved business process which are supported by the information system technologies if the analyst have the critical thinking then these types of skills help out to examine the results of requirement discovery and translating those requirement into a concept for the new system a analyst cannot realistically accept that the true requirements for the new system are easily gathered because the requirements gathering is more important thing in any phase if analyst try to gather all the informations in the few conversations with the stakeholders then it might be at risk for the new system so the analyst must be prepared to dig into the situation and discover requirements this is not often an easy process so that's why these skills are helpful for analyst to gather the information from the stakeholders a number of techniques and tools can be used by analyst to facilitate or complete the process of discovering the requirement in this chapter chapter number 3 we will talk about we will describe those techniques and tools so that you will learn that how analyst can collect the information from the stakeholder moreover we will also explain the critical role that requirements play in defining the new system as mentioned above the analyst also employs tools during this phase which we will discuss in the coming chapter as in chapter 4 we will talk about the use cases in chapter 5 we will discuss about the process model and in chapter 3 we will illustrate it about the data models sometimes it happens that the first step that is the understanding of the as is system is skipped or done in a limited manner the reason behind this is that because sometime there is no current system exists or sometime if the existing system and the processes are irrelevant to the future system or might be possible that the project team is using rad or agile development methodologies which is not emphasized with the as is system so in this situation the analyst will skip the first step that is the understanding of the as is system so once the steering committee approve the project then we move to the designing phase but before going to the designing phase we check that either this project is according to our business value or no if this project add the value to the business value to the organization then we move to the design phase and in design phase we will discuss about that how the system will be built and this these details we will discuss in the next chapter but in the coming lectures we will talk about the requirement gathering or requirement development i hope that you understand today lecture 
so if we conclude our today lectures so we have talked about the analysis phase and I have given you an introduction about the analysis phase and we have talked about the three major points of the analysis phase that is understanding and to find the improvements and for the 2B system so we have also talked about the key deliverable of the system analysis phase that is system proposal I hope that you understand this lecture so please like share and subscribe this channel for more videos thank you